Greetings survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here and I just had to rework this video because a couple of new images came to light. It looks like if everything goes according to plan then the Rust Companion app will be going live in June's update. As you can see from these images it will be available on iOS and Android and will give you a wedge of information including server info, team info including being able to communicate with them presumably, there will be a map tab and in devices you will be able to control all your smart switch linked gizmos. One of the main things of course is getting notifications any time one of your smart alarms is triggered which as you can hear now has a unique and rather annoying sound. As I say, this is likely to make it in next month's update, so make sure you're subscribed and they'll keep you in the loop. So, how are you getting on with the new vehicles on the beta branch? Having fun testing them? What's that you say? You don't know how to? Well, it's a good job I put a link to the latest dev blog in the description which tells you everything you need to know, isn't it? And what's that you say? You watch my videos because reading is scary? Okay. Well, in short, if you own Rust then you already own the staging branch. It will be right here in your Steam library. Simply right click on it, go to properties, then click on the betas tab and select AUX01 from the drop down box. Make sure the staging branch is installed and you're ready to go. There are a couple of official testing servers running on this branch, the IPs of which I'll put down below, and there will be other non-official servers out there but you'll have to look for those yourself. Vehicles are still expected to be rolled out to everyone in the July update which means you've still got over a month to break things and find as many exploits as you can. Talking of which, over the last week many tweaks to vehicle systems were made in response to initial testing and these include needing a complete set of engine parts to run, because you could actually get one moving without a full complement before, engine parts now have more health and engines have more power for hill climbing and hill starts. It's also possible to throttle forward whilst rolling back at any speed. The health of car lifts was reduced somewhat and they decay a bit faster, but it's also now possible to research and craft vehicle modules instead of only being able to find them in the wild. All modules as well as medium tier engine components currently cost 125 scrap to research and a level 2 workbench items with low quality engine parts costing 75 scrap to research and being workbench level 1, although as mentioned last week this is all subject to change. In addition to this cars now trigger pressure pads and there's a new related command for admins called fix cars, which if run while standing next to one will instantly give it full HP, filler up and insert a full set of engine components. You can also append 1, 2 or 3 to this command to specify which tier of engine components you want. Handy. It also appears that soon you'll be able to honk at other players in the inevitable traffic jams that will ensue thanks to work being done on a horn feature. It's not live just yet, but it seems that when it is, it'll be assigned to the left mouse button. In works in progress, it seems June will also be the building blocks update and this will add better conditional blocks along with more functionality including spiral stairs, ramps for vehicles and the long awaited triangular floor frames with of course triangular ladder hatches. In console news, still no exact date as yet for release so you can stop asking me but it looks like the ability to run local Linux servers on custom ports and on digital ocean is being worked on. I'm not sure how console server hosting will work exactly though but of course when I know, you'll know. And lastly, the intriguing mixing table is still being worked on along with more commits about berries and tea which can't be bad. Still no mention of biscuits though. But I'll bring you the tea when it's brewed. Did you know I stream on Twitch three times a week? Link is down below so join me there. Also stay up to date with me on Twitter, Facebook, Discord and my Steam group and I shall catch you all soon. But in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio! Triangular Ladder Hatches